Malaysian health authorities have warned of large-scale community transmission in easternmost state of Sabah. Six deaths have been reported in Malaysia, all from Sabah, the country's number one hotspot. And almost 80% of the 354 new cases reported in Malaysia today are from there. And several villages in Samporina along the east coast have been put under complete lockdown. A correspondent, Melissa Goh, tells us why staying at home may not be safe for some in Sabah. The national spotlight is on the Borneo state of Sabah. This of the recently concluded statewide election triggered a huge surge in cases. Six localities in Samporna and one in Kunak along the east coast will go into total lockdown this weekend. More than 30,000 villagers will be forced to isolate themselves in their homes. Semua penduduk di kawasan terlibat tidak dibenarkan keluar daripada rumah masing-masing. Kerajaan negeri telah pun bersuju untuk mengagihkan makanan di lokaliti tersebut. The movement of boats will be restricted and fishermen are allowed out at sea from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. while non-conventional ships from Indonesia and the Philippines, including those in transshipment, will be barred. Now, this comes as the community spread in Sabah has raised concerns with the number of unlinked cases with no apparent origin doubled in less than one week. The health director general, Dr. Noor Hisham, has warned that cases will continue to rise as the country enters into the third wave of infection. Virus ini sudah ada dalam masyarakat kita dan kaedah yang terbaik ialah kalau boleh semua duduk di rumah. Kalau duduk di rumah, maka kita dapat mutuskan jangkitan COVID-19 ni iaitu tiada pendedahan. Lebih baik pada satu meter. But staying at home may not be safe for many living along the east coast of Sabah. Many of villages on stilt are crowded with limited and confined space. Some migrant families whom I met recently have no travel documents and would not seek help unless it's dire for fear of being arrested. The parents of a one-year-old toddler who died recently sought help only too late. Dr. Nohisham has promised that all those infected will be treated equally, regardless they are legal or illegal migrants. The police, Navy and Coast Guard, meanwhile, have stepped up enforcement with almost 60 illegal immigrants arrested on Friday. Melissa Goh, CNA, Kuala Lumpur.